We're courses you need to play. My name is Noah. My name is Cameron, and today we are highlighting five golf courses that are under $100, and it's gonna be in California today, but we're doing a whole series on courses under 100 in every single state, and we're getting recommendations from our followers on Instagram, so if you're not following us on Instagram, be sure to do that right now so that you can give us recommendations in the future. Um, so today, I think we're gonna start with Noah. He's got the first recommendation for California. Yeah, so as you can imagine, it was really tough to narrow it down to just five courses in California. So many great options. Um, thanks to you guys. We were able to narrow it down just a little bit. Our first one is going to be Rustic Canyon, recommended by tons of our followers, um, and one being Cody Darrow. So thanks for the recommendation. I hope I'm saying that name right. But it was designed by Gil Hans in 2001, and it's nestled in the canyons of Moore Park, California. It's about an hour north of Los Angeles. Um, and it's said that the course is extremely fun for players of all skill levels. Um, it should be considered one of the top courses in Southern California, especially for its value. Uh, right now, tee times are running for about 79 bucks and under, depending on the time of day. Um, and it was ranked number five in Golf Week's best courses you can play in 2022 uh, for public access layouts in California. So definitely one of the top ones. Most fairways are extremely wide and forgiving, uh, according to the reviews, but all greens are severely sloped, making it for a fun and exciting challenge. Yeah, I've actually played Rustic Canyon before. Um, so I, I grew up in the LA area and I used to play golf with my dad all the time when I was growing up there. And it was one of his favorite courses to go play. He'd always choose that one. Um, it looks and beautiful. I remember it being a nice course and all. I, I just didn't appreciate golf as much as I do now. I, I feel like I've just gotten super into golf over the past couple of years. And now I want to go back because I've been hearing all about it again. And I'm like, man, why didn't I appreciate it back then? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was literally in my backyard. So. Uh, definitely next time we're down there, we got to go play. Russell yeah, Canyon. absolutely. Um, next one on the list is Cinnabar Hills Golf Club. Uh, this one was recommended by Will Brogan, and it's in San Jose, California. It's got uh, a unique layout, so it's got three different nine-hole courses there, and it's got the lake, canyon, and mountain courses, and you can play any combination of two of the three. Um, and so all of them kind of weave between the hills. Uh, I feel like all can you of play the all 27 if you want to? That's a great question. I'm not totally sure. As I was looking at tee times, it was by 18. Yeah, no, so for sure. No. I don't know. But I was what I was saying was I feel like all Southern California courses at least, maybe maybe northern as well, but they're all just kind of within the hills. Like Yeah, for like sure. The hills are just classic California yeah. landscapes. And if you've never been to California, I feel like I've run into people that live in the south that have never been more <laughs> west than Texas. And yeah. it's like what are you doing with your life? No, I mean, the farther east you go, you have people right. who just kind of stay in this and east. over. Like like being from Arizona and, you know, Texas and kind of the yeah. western states. Our, our our vacations were to California. Yeah. People here, they go to Florida. Yeah, no, they go it's to true. Florida. Yeah. Anyways, if you haven't been to California, get out there to California. They've got some amazing golf courses. Yeah. Um, continuing on with Cinnabar Hills. So their, their logo for the course is a red tail hawk. They've been seen all throughout uh, all the courses there. So um, another tidbit of information. That's sick. Um, and so the price you can get on Monday through Thursday for around $95 for the peak hours. But Twilight is $79 and Super Twilight is $59. But Twilight starts at 1130 a.m. Never heard of Twilight. I've never heard of that in my life. 11.30 in the morning? I'll be there. Yeah. Twilight? And then Super Twilight at 1.30. 1.30 is like... Super Twilight. I've never heard of Super Twilight <laughs> sure, either. $59 Super Twilight. Super Twilight. Uh, anyways, must. It's a must play. Oh, that's fun. That course looks beautiful as well. These all do. Um, okay, next one. Uh, another one that was recommended by numerous people to us, uh, including Lucas James Asher. So thank you guys again. But Soul Park... Soul Park Golf Course in Ojai Valley. Am I, am I saying Ojai. that right? Ojai. Ojai yeah. Valley. There you go. Um, one of the country's most highly regarded municipal golf courses. Um, it's the 48th best municipal golf course in the country by Golf Week magazine in 2014. That was 10 years ago now. But uh, it was designed by renowned architect William F. Bell in 1962, and he has designed some just gems across the country. So I would expect no different here. Um, it's... $40 and under right now, and it, I'm looking at the tee times right now, and from what I can see, it kind of it, it goes down the further down the day you go, um, and it gets as low as $18 starting at 3 o'clock. So you're obviously not going to be able to, to fit in 18 holes you know, at 3 o'clock, but 
Maybe uh, nine. Maybe nine. Hey, depending on the pace for nine, of play, two bucks a hole. You got nothing to lose with no. eighteen dollars. Is the thing. <laughs> Even if you squeeze in six holes, I that, it's that's a bucket of balls. Yeah. So would you rather hit a bucket of balls or do you want to go play six holes? I mean, I I don't know. I'd make that decision. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. But again, another one, another course that just looks absolutely gorgeous, surrounded by mountains. Um, it seems like just another must play. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I've heard great things about it. Um, real quick, I'm sure you've seen these on the table right now. Uh, this is Relight. This is one of the best electrolyte drink mixes I have ever tasted in my life. This is the watermelon lime. We've got lemon lime. They've got mango. They've got tons of different flavors. Um, I drink those on the course every single time I go. And honestly, I drink them at work. I drink them just at any time during the day. If you haven't had that yet, go check it out. Use our code CYNTP15. Put a link down in the description um, just to go get it. It's really good. Yeah. Stay hydrated on the course. Yes, please. So the next golf course that was suggested and recommended that we narrowed down was Morro Bay Golf Course in San Luis Obispo, California. It was recommended by C.T. Collins, uh, 33. Can't forget that. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. Uh, so this course was designed by the J.T. Lawrence Company in 1925. Uh, so it's an older course but it looks great. So it's right on Morro Bay. It overlooks the beach town there, and it just has an awesome backdrop of the Pacific Ocean on multiple holes. I feel like if you can get on any ocean front golf course for under a hundred dollars, yeah, that's just kind go. of a no brainer. You go, like you I, go. I'm a sucker for ocean courses. Yeah, uh, I think they're a lot of fun. Um, so this one you can get on during the week for fifty four dollars and sixty seven dollars on the weekends. Um, I mean, you've seen the views that we've put up here. Uh, it looks pretty amazing. Yeah. So I think no. it's a no-brainer. Absolutely. And uh, speaking of Ocean View golf courses, our next one was highly, highly recommended. Um, it was recommended by Flashboard in 95 as well. Uh, Pacific Grove. You've probably heard of it. Um, it's won both local and national claim for its classic design and affordability for many, many years. And um, it, it's been referred to as the poor man's Pebble Beach. It's 15 minutes north of the real deal Pebble Beach. Um, and it's really known for its back nine. So the front nine uh, it is good. It's a normal municipal course, nothing crazy special. But where it really becomes memorable is that back nine with those incredible ocean views. Um, you can play this course for $64. Um, they have a twilight rate for 44 and if you want to play that memorable back nine, you can also do that for just $44. And yeah, it's just, it's delighted visitors and locals alike for, for over 75 years. So, uh, Pacific Grove, if you're in that area, it's definitely a, a must play. You have to stop by. Yeah. Another no brainer. Yeah. It's got a really cool, uh, um, lighthouse, lighthouse on yeah. the back nine. Yep. I think um, that's its logo. Is I'm all about those logos. Yeah, yeah. logo. Uh, that a sucker for the... a good logo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got to get some good uh, good swag when I go to golf courses, no, so I'm looking for, for sure. good logos. For sure. Um, okay, so those are the five that were recommended to us mm -hmm. on our Instagram page. The last one is the bonus one that we've actually played in Southern California for under $100. It's a black gold golf club. Uh, this one's in Yorba Linda, California. It's about 40 minutes east of LA. And honestly... So we went to California a few months back, and this this course we kind of I don't know how we found it. We found it on I think we just... we were in LA and we were just looking for courses close by that the LA area. So so we actually we we played Pelican Hill for a couple ba couple days. We and we had uh, some extra time and just wanted to get out and, and swing the club some more. So we booked um, Black Gold, not expecting much. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I was honestly personally expecting to be kind of just like, eh, after playing Pelican Hill, but it exceeded all expectations, yeah. even even after playing the incredible Pelican Hill. Um, and for the price too, right? So it's like you're up high in the hills of Yorba Linda, you get amazing views of the city below, you kind of weave between um, just the hills there and some neighborhoods. Yep. But again, like I normally don't like playing up against neighborhoods and houses on the sides. But it didn't really feel that way at no, all, even though you were kind of in the neighborhoods. But yeah. it didn't feel that way. Um, it has amazing views. I swear the sky that day, too. We'll put up <laughs> pictures from that day and videos from that day. Yeah. The sky looked unreal with the clouds and the sunset. Uh, it was awesome. Just a really pretty layout. It's a, it's a tough course, too. So there's a lot of dog legs, a lot of blind shots. There's not a lot of flat lies. Um, so the course definitely keeps you on your toes throughout pretty much the entire 18 holes. Yeah. So, and then the price on that one, uh, you can get under a hundred dollars during the twilight hours. So, um, 
Yeah, I think that one's a honestly, if you're ever in that area, that is a great course that you should go play. Yeah, it's a great addition if you're looking for an extra course for sure. One hundred percent. So um, that's that's our list for California. Um, if you want to recommend courses down the road in any other states that we do, we're going to be posting them on our Instagram page beforehand before we do these videos. So make sure you're following there. You can give us some recommendations or um, I mean, you can leave recommendations for anywhere on this video as well in the comments. Make sure you subscribe here. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your time. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>